That's the uh, view looking across Hong Kong Harbour. Very nice it is too. Welcome back. You're watching World Business today. Well, before the break, we were talking about Australia's proposed tax on mining companies. Well, it has been toned down, so as not to stifle the industry. Well, other commodity-rich economies also face the challenge of creating a suitable climate for investment. Kazakhstan is one of Central Asia's biggest oil producers. It's also rich in resources, including uranium, cadmium, alumina, the uh, list goes on, copper, iron ore, and according to the State Department, the US State Department, mining and extraction industries have attracted more than $30 billion in foreign investments since 1993. The State Department says that's almost 76% of overall investment in the region. So to tell us how natural resources fit into the broader economy of Kazakhstan, we're joined by the Prime Minister, Karim Mazivmov, and he joins us from Astana, in Kazakhstan. Prime Minister, thank you so much for joining us. I would like to just ask you about the super tax we saw it being imposed in Australia. Now that worried a lot of mining companies right around the world that other governments would look at uh, imposing a super tax. Is that something your government is considering? We are uh, watching very carefully uh, what is happening with the tax regime in Australia. Uh, first of all, the Prime Minister of Australia is uh, my pers personal friend of mine, and using this opportunity, I would like to say that uh, his proposal is very much interested. But so far, we didn't make any concrete decision about the further tax increase on the mining companies. Now, what you have announced very recently is reimposing a, a tax on resources exports, uh, some of which will start next year. Now, you actually abolished this tax uh, in January of last year, so why are you now reimposing it? Uh, we are discussing the opportunities uh, on the additional custom fee for oil, gas, and potentially for some other minerals. In 2008, we have a similar problem, but 2009, it was a big uh, financial and economic crisis, and we made a decision uh, to uh, let extractive companies to pay less tax. Now we think that they are back on track, and we are considering uh, bringing back uh, uh, custom fee for oil, gas, and some uh, min minerals as well. But decision has been made now, yet. All right, understood. Now, I said in the introduction just how rich your country is in, in minerals, in resources. The government has been increasing their ownership in various uh, mining enterprises uh, in, in the country, buying bigger stakes in, in resource projects. Is this a pathway towards full nationalization of the resources industry in your country? Uh, first of all, whatever government of Kazakhstan is doing should be according to the national interest of our country. In general, we do believe on a private economy, we do believe on a market economy and private ownership. We are, what we are doing recently is just uh, to make the balance of interest between national interest and foreign investors. But in general, we still believe on a foreign investment and we still believe uh, on a private ownership of the companies. It will be no fully right. nationalization of extractive industries companies. And I'm strongly committed to that. All right, uh, thank you for, for making that quite clear. Just on the priorities for development of your resources, what are the priority sectors for you? Is it oil? Is it, is it iron ore? Where are you placing emphasis? Uh, first of all, our main priority is diversification of our economy. And we are putting our efforts on education, health care and infrastructure development. Of course, extractive industries is helping us a lot because our country is very rich by minerals, oil and gas. That's why I will make the priorities as a oil and gas, iron ore, uranium, 
uh, and etc. I think we have a number of directions, gold, for example, production, number of priorities where government will be focusing on together with the private sector. Government cannot do everything themselves. We need a foreign direct investment, we need a local private investors. Government should provide the circumstances and infrastructure for that. Prime Minister of Kazakhstan, Karim Masimov, thank you so much for joining us here on World Business Today.